Hi, I'm Taylor. What I want to talk to you today is about fine tuning your saw bench. As you know, when a saw bench comes to you, it's been factory set. The blade is not necessarily in perfect alignment with the runners. So I want to show you how to set that up so that your saw bench will work really well. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is use a straight edge. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes because it is actually pretty straight. So we raise the blade right up as far as we can and we just put that on the blade. That means then that when we're measuring off, we've got an accurate thing. So first thing I do is block that tightly in against that groove. Okay, so that's held and now I can measure that distance. Now this is where a good set of calipers come in handy. Okay, so Set them to zero, and then we will simply go across like that to the blade, and get a reading. Okay. We then take it down to this end of the table, set that to zero. another reading. Okay. Zero that. Come back down here again. Recheck that. Okay. Okay, so we've recorded it and checked it now, and as you can see, it's 0.09 of a millimeter out. Now, over that distance, that is accurate enough. I'm not going to touch that. That's pretty good. But if we want to, I'll show you what you need to do next. Okay, underneath your saw bench, you will find the table the saw machinery is attached using four bolts. Loosen those off very slightly and then just using a hammer, just a little tap, check, tap, check, until you actually bring that as close as you can. Okay. Once you've got it all set up nice and straight you can take everything back off and um, use your saw bench effectively sorry about the camera work but um, it's plugged in <laughs> and I've got very little movement so once that's done you'll find that everything will be sliding up to that blade and through that blade square All right, so now when you slide up, you know that this is going to be going up against this blade absolutely straight now. And that's going to give you an excellent cut. You're not going to get that excellent cut unless your blade is perfectly in line with your guide. Now, you've noticed some guides have got slop. What I would recommend you do there is, you can see the full video on Ask Woodman, A-S-K-W-O-O-D-M-A-N, on YouTube. Excellent stuff. 
and from him I learned a little trick using a punch give it a good whack with a hammer um, he's using a great big metal hammer I'm not I'm just using a normal carpenter's hammer a couple of whacks with a punch it creates that crater but of course as it creates a creator it pushes metal out and just tap 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 three times along and keep tapping until when you slide it in there is no sideways movement okay that gives you you know a beautiful fitting uh, guide once you've squared your timber up across the blade you'll see that there's a small grub screw in here which allows you to loosen and adjust this pen so that then you can set it so it's at the perfect 90 and then you know when you're using your gauge that you've got your your increments down pat. And that is all you need to do to get that table saw working perfectly so that it's a pleasure to use.